Welcome back everyone. Awesome Rock here today with a Cyberpunk 2077 pre-next gen update review video. Let's talk about it. So it's finally here y'all. One of the most hyped video games in the past seven years has dropped to a very rough start. With a lot going on in 2020 period with the tag of being worked on for seven plus years Reviewers are less forgiving and it's showing in a lot of these reviews. Yet it's only one side to this ugly launch story. Before talking about things that were going on in the background, let's talk about the game first. Cyberpunk 2077 baby. Being dropped in this world was a refreshing break from the multiplayer, BRs, slasher RPGs out there. Yes, I'm looking at you Genshin. I asked for a razor and you gave me a fire. <sighs> Woosa. Like I was saying, this was a very welcome change of pace and scenery. The story is some of the best I have seen. This is no surprise though, since it, this is CD Projekt Red, the developers of uh, Witcher 3. Put a big thumbtack in that though, because I'll double back later. The atmosphere is fresh and the colors are vibrant in this world. Tread very lightly as this game will show you how gritty it can get though, very fast. When it comes to customization, it gets deeper than Oprah's pockets baby. You can make your character look as bizarre as you want and tweaking everything, even your genitalia size and preference. You can choose from three different factions, the nomads, outcasts that survive and are good at it. You can be the street kid, jack of all trades, or the corporate dude. Good with a lot of new age tech since, you know, they have more access to these things. I chose Nomad though. The ability tree customization is not too out of hand, sort of a pick your poison type system with each path giving you a unique new option to the approach of missions and situations in general. The guns are front and center here with the attention to detail on full showcase with shotguns fitting the world and some just outright mind blowing in design and feel. I still haven't seen the full spectrum of weapons to offer yet you can't help but to want to see more with each new weapon you pick up. The vehicles are diverse and satisfy that speed sweet tooth you might have. If armored vehicles are your thing they also have that side of the spectrum. With side quests rewarding a lot of unique vehicles and weapons, it's easy to get sidetracked in Night City, but that's a good thing though. With all that being said, when it comes to my experience with the game, it's been rough. I'm on the PS5 and I'm still experiencing a lot of bugs. The biggest one I've experienced is getting kicked out of an app completely, forcing me to restart the app. This happened about five to seven times between three days. Other than that, the bugs are far and few. Keep in mind, I'm on the PS5, so I could only imagine how the experience would be on the PS4 and Xbox One versions. In conclusion, on the content offered in this game alone, it's able to stand. The bugs make it unplayable for some, and I get it. They had seven plus years to get it done. I, I get it. This is where I'm going to lay it all out there. This is not me defending them. This is me updating the people that don't know into the now know. When the game was delayed a while back, developers of this game started receiving death threats. Yeah, death threats. I don't know about you, but I have a family and I'm sure some of them do also in that company. So the company wanting to protect its employees were forced to release a game they knew was not ready. The majority including myself thought the game wasn't even going to release until early next year 2021. So when the announcement came of the release date it shocked a lot of people. CD Projekt Red also put out Witcher 3, another great game but was buggy on release. I have played a lot of games that were too buggy on launch. Yes, I'm looking at you Skyrim and you Fallout 76. Yeah, these games were bought at full price and were given time to get better. 
We as gamers slash customers have to value our time and money more. At the same time, we need to educate other gamers out there that just because, you know, one game did it and was better for it doesn't mean every buggy game deserves the leniency. It's up to us to push the developers and companies to be better. Also, us as gamers have to tell each other, you know, like, chill out, man. We don't need to be too anxious or overly eager to get these games in our hands. I would rather a fully finished product that needs no patches, but at the same time, I understand that we have our own fallacies. So I'd rather, you know, a better product in the end than a rushed product that has to be patched or is mandatory to get a day one patch. So with all that being said, once again, my name is Awesome Rock. Tell your friends about me.